My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. Support the site through the Amazon links and the donate button at counterpropa. I was just on. I was just on RT's Crosstalk. Share the segment below. It was an amazing segment. I'm a big Peter LaBelle fan. Share that segment. It's my uh, appearance, my latest appearance on RT's Crosstalk. I've been on RT four times. And I'm sure the Democratic Party is extremely happy about that. Former Obama official discusses rush to get intelligence on Trump team. The funny thing is about people so outraged about, uh, regarding the tweet from Donald Trump is that the same people who cheated Bernie Sanders were extremely proud that they gathered all this information about Trump and Russia. They were so happy. They were so proud because their, their mentality was, we're going to gather so much information before Trump gets in office where he can hide or um, destroy that information. Then they say, well, no, no, how on earth could we spy on Trump? We would never have done that. Well, which one is it? Former Obama official discuss, discloses rush to get, the, get intelligence on Trump. This is the headline. Former Obama official discloses rush to get intelligence on Trump team. A former top Obama administration official has acknowledged efforts by her colleagues to gather intelligence on Trump team ties to Russia before Donald Trump took office and to conceal the sources of that intelligence from the incoming administration. Evelyn Farkas, Deputy Assistant Director of Defense under Obama, made the disclosure while on air with MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski. So they don't even know the narrative. The narrative changes for them daily. At first, it's, we're spying on Trump because he has ties to Russia. Then the New York Times says, investigating Donald Trump, FBI uh, see, finds no clear link to Russia, October 31st, 2016. Then it's, oh my God, we found information on Flynn's calls. Then it's, we would never, we would never um, spy on Trump. Then it's, oh my God, there's evidence that we spied on Trump through Trump's team. Now, Evelyn Farkas, Deputy Assistant uh, Secretary of Defense under Obama, makes the disclosure that, of course, they gathered as much intelligence on Trump as they could, which points to an, in, an outgoing president spying on an incoming president because Clinton lost $1.2 billion. These are the same people who cheated Bernie Sanders. When I go after these types of people, don't say I'm helping Trump. I am helping the Democratic Party. Give me your thoughts below. It's already here. I was urging my former colleagues, and frankly speaking, the people on the Hill, it was more actually aimed at telling the Hill people, get as much information as you can. Get as much intelligence as you can before President Obama leaves the administration. Get as much in intelligence as you can. They are admitting it right now. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much.